When asked to describe Caitlin Tavares, her teammates and coaches used a couple powerful words like go-getter and a positive force. Over the last few months, both of those characteristics helped the Northwestern volleyball player battle the toughest fight she's ever faced. November 4th, team photo day for the Northwestern women's volleyball team. Three, two, one. A portrait that just became complete only recently. It's good to have you back. That was the first time I saw some of them because I've been so busy yesterday. That was crazy. I feel like they all grew, but they didn't. They are just tall girls. It was great to see everyone so excited. <laughs> Picture Day was a welcome moment for junior libero Caitlin Tavares, whose life changed this past July. That's really cute. I felt a little lump on my throat, and I thought that it was, you know, something that got nicked with my collarbone from playing or something. Not a big deal. Went and got it checked out. Um, there wasn't anything sinister initially about it. I remember it was um, it was late July. And uh, our athletic trainer, Haley Zimmerman, actually uh, shot me a text and said, are you around to talk? And I said, yeah, why don't you give me a call? And then she said, well, where are you? Because I'm going to come see you. And so as soon as I got that part of the text, I knew something wasn't good. I just won't forget this. She was in our um, kitchen, and she like walked up, and she just kind of like looked at me and just like started crying. It was honestly it was a moment I won't forget because it was something I, I hope they never experience again. Tavares was diagnosed with Hodgkin's lymphoma. In August, she took a leave of absence from Northwestern and returned home to California to start radiation treatments. During Caitlin's battle, the support from her teammates never wavered. They really made me feel like I was still there. So that was important for me. I didn't want to kind of just fade away and be away from volleyball. They really helped me stay in it. In a show of support, Tavares' teammates created Lymphoma Awareness Night to raise money for the Headstrong Foundation, honoring her courage. Here we've got somebody almost 2,000 miles away that was going to be going through probably one of the toughest things in her life that she was going to experience. So we created um, the mantra of fight for KT. And I was thinking about it when I had, you know, it was hard to get up or do something. I said, okay, fight. <laughs> fight with my team using that hashtag. I put it on my wall. I put it, you know, all the pictures they would send me, I'd print them out, put them on my wall, and, um, and look at those whenever I needed strength in it. It really did help. Recently, that fight paid off. Being able to support them in person, seeing what you can't really see on the video that I've been watching online, it's just been really great to see that and feel that in the locker room, on the court, you know, between points, it's just a great feeling. I know your coach was mentioning um, you guys had a, kind of a special talk beforehand. Mm -hmm. can, you, can you tell me what he, he told you before? He told me that they missed me. Um, are you getting emotional here? Um, I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry. Um, our coaching staff's amazing. It was just, I've been talking to a lot, them a lot over the phone, but just to have that conversation in person was, was great. Every point, every moment with all the girls is just precious, and and we know all know that now more than ever. So I just can't wait to get back in the gym, get back in Evanston. Caitlin's return to Evanston will come sooner rather than later. Her doctors recently gave her this great news: she's cancer-free.